Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well today. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we've got one more farm to work on. That's the string farm. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the Hypermine Iron Farm. We're in the storage area, and we've got farms for pretty much everything in here. We've got the reed farm. We got a generalized mob farm. It gets all the too high mobs. We've got melon and pumpkin, cactus. We've certainly got the iron farm, and then we've got ender pearls that come in from the end and from our ender ender over there. But the one remaining thing is string. Because we did not do a mob farm that has like a flushing mechanism or any sort of piston movement or anything like that, we're not getting spiders. And so we've got one more farm to do. We're going to do a string farm. It's not going to be quite what you think, okay? We're going to have to take a little trip. And uh, that means I need to get some materials together. I need to get ready for this trip. We're going a far distance away. And you'll see what I mean by our 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 string farm. It's we're gonna do a little different take on it. We're not gonna build it here at spawn. We're gonna build it elsewhere and pipe stuff to spawn. You'll see what I mean. So we've got a server restart coming up. Let me get situated, and then once the server restarts, we will head on our way. All right, the server has restarted. I have stocked up, I've got my elytra on. It's probably not going to get us the whole way, but we can stop off and grab another one as we head over there. So let's just take a look at some of the stuff we have. Might need more, but we'll get something set up for that as we go. And so there we go. So we're going to need some Eyes of Ender. We're going to need some Obsidian for another portal. You might be able to guess what the Eyes of Ender are for, but let's just put our items away. We've got an inner chest here, and yeah, I think I think we're ready to go. Now let's bring up the F3 screen. We need to go to negative 11,066 and negative 641. I have done some reconnaissance work. I hope you're not too upset about that, but uh, for something like this, this is a, a technical build. So we need to be sure of where we are. We're looking for a particular construct of items. And I found what I needed in, um, in a backup of this world. Not here. I have not done it on here, but I have looked. Hopefully you don't hate that so much. But hey, I need, I need a specific combination of things. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, I'm going to take a flight we're going to do, we've got to go this way is decreasing Z and this way is decreasing X. So a lot that way and a little bit that way. And you know what? Let's, let's have a little, let's have a little time lapse, shall we? So uh, for a little bit, you might see the F3 screen pop up every now and then, but let's just get this thing started. Well, I have never seen one of these Taiga villages before. This is new to me, so I figured I'd stop in. Might as well. Let's see. Yeah, definitely need some obsidian. I'll definitely take that, but anything else? Uh, nothing much. Let's see. We've got standard farms, and what else? What other buildings? Let's come over here. Farms. 
Little houses. Okay. Not too shabby. It's kind of cool seeing this. We got, what is that? Dark oak or is that spruce? Let's bring up the F3. Spruce. Okay, so it uses spruce for the farm. That's very fitting. Good job, Moyang, getting that correct over here. Anything else? Got the L-shaped house. Yeah, you need a door. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, you definitely need a door. Let's throw down a bed and we'll just keep these guys safe. And while we're at it and we're on the ground, let's throw down inner chest and maybe refresh. I don't think we need to refresh our firework rockets, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how much more time we've got on that set of elytra. So we'll just grab another one for now, put this away and that away. And you go on, grab our inner chest and there we go. So, um, I think, we still have a little ways to go. We're at negative 9,000. Probably could have gotten by with that set of elytra, but who, who knows? Anyway, got just a little bit more to go. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are close. Let's see if we come up this way. It's negative 741. We'll go back to here. All right. So, well, I can already hear a spider, but we're a little too close to the surface for that. Let's get rid of the F3 screen. And what I'm going to do is put on a little bit better protection there. And what we'll do is get this out, and this out, and this out. And we'll put away all of our stuff for now. Yeah, let's do that. And then over here, and right there, excellent. And we're, we're not going to need most of this stuff until we get down to where we're headed. So let's grab this, bring up the F3 screen again. We need 1167, 1166, 640, so right about here. And what we're going to face east. Yeah, so we'll go probably right around here. And then you've always heard, don't dig down. I did not mean to take a screenshot there. I said don't dig down. But if you dig down like this, it's not a problem. Okay, just you stand right in the middle of two blocks. And you should be good to go. No problem at all. So I'm going to do this. I'll meet you once we get down to our destination all right ladies and gentlemen we are back i'm down here down here in the very bottom of this thing and i'm sorry to do this but we are definitely not going to keep these things around okay so uh, yeah i'm i'm sorry but we we just can't have it no 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 so what we're gonna do now is uh well this is kind of just by itself let's make it safe at least as far as getting rid of all this lava that's around we've got plenty of those silverfish hanging out as well and you know what maybe just maybe can can we make some lava? Yes, we can. Or some obsidian. Excellent. So, oh, that's a, you know, I've got silk touch, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that, but if you hit a monster egg block with a silk touch pick, it will not spawn the monster. So it's a little tip for you. And we'll take care of this obsidian. I certainly would like to have a little bit more of it. You might be wondering, what in the world are you doing? You found an end portal. Yes, you, and you've already got an end portal. Yes, we've already gotten one. Kondrick has one. Uh, a few other people have found one. Jan's got her own. And, well, now I've got my own. Why do you want this one? Well, we'll see in just a moment. Let's grab that. And 
then maybe now it's not quite time to do that what i want to do is a little bit of of kind of exploration around here and the problem is that we've got okay hey buddy um let's get rid of that we got zombies and skeletons hanging out and there's one thing in particular that i'm looking for and that is there's supposedly a a spider spawner somewhere around here at least based on my initial reconnaissance if you will creeper over there let's get rid of that guy yeah there was supposedly one around here somewhere but um yeah i don't know i'm gonna have to look around a little bit for that we have plenty of ore hanging about got some diamonds that's all well and good i don't really need them because of the witch farm perimeter dig but I need to see if we do in fact have a spider spawner around here. Yeah, so there we go. Just light this place up and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, I hear I hear it. It could be up there. So anyway, I need to do a little bit of caving. I'll I'll do that off camera and then if I can find something, I will, uh, I'll bring you back in. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did manage to find it. And I wasn't sure if I would find it because, well, this terrain is not generated or it was not generated already. And these things don't always generate how you would expect them to, or at least if you go in a Oh, oh, I've got a, there's a baby zombie around there. Yeah, not cool. Not cool. And I've run out of torches. I should probably try and find, do we have some, we have some coal right here. And then I can probably grab fortune pick out of here. Plenty of bad stuff all around. But anyway, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, what we need to, I probably need to go off camera and get resituated a little bit. And then uh, what we'll do is work on getting back home, maybe getting a, another portal set up so we can move items back and forth fairly easily. But let's, uh, let's take care of that and we'll make some more torches. And yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go off camera for a bit, get resituated, and then we'll get back over to the portal and head back home. All right. So back in a bit. All right. We are back. What I want to show you here is right here in the center of what's going to be a full frame. Notice that we didn't get any eyes of vendor in here. We're going to come out this way. And then we go this way and that goes straight to the spider spawner. All right. So that's not quite what we're going to be jumping into just yet, but that's how that goes. And I see we've got, we got the barbarians at the gate. They can stay over there. Good for them. We go like this and let's head back. What I want to do is build another portal and we'll eventually get this all cleaned up, but First things first, we need to get back and forth pretty easily. And the easiest way for that is another portal. I'm going to do a three by three and we're going to cheap out on the corners just because we can. And before we go any further, let's get the F3 screen up, take a screenshot. And I'm going to set a waypoint in uh, what is it, a spider farm, I guess. And we'll make sure to turn on the nether as well. But I've got, I've got my coordinates and I can do the whole nether math thing. Let's get rid of F3. 
and we're going to do flint and steel, but we're not going to go through yet. No, no, no. No, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to... Um, we're going to head back to our main area. Let's throw all this in here, and we're going to leave that ender chest because we've got one right there. And what we want to do is like this. Oh, and there's a noise now. Interesting. That's cool. I like that. Whoa. Lots of new noises. Excellent. Well done, Mo Yang, on that one. All right, so we're going to jump through and then we'll go. We should get back to where we would normally be. And which direction? This way. And we can head back to spawn. And what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to dig a, a tunnel in the nether to our new place. And we'll make sure that that's connected up. And if, in case you're not familiar with how that works, you divide your X and Z by eight and that will give you where you need to go in the nether and so i'm going to find that spot in the nether ceiling and then we'll attach it to the main nether hub and then i'm going to start preparing that whole farm area off camera because I've, you've seen spider farms before right um i've i've certainly done a couple uh and i don't if you have cool but uh, there's going to be a lot of just taking stuff apart and making sure that we've got an easy access from the spider spawner over to the end portal. But I'm going to take care of all that off camera. When we come back, I'll show you what I've put together. All right, back in a bit. Well, it seems like as good a time as any for a little progress report. So let's take a look over here. I have completed the farm. That's that's right. I, I didn't feel like bringing you along for it. I'm sorry. Um, so so do forgive me but if we want to come up here let's see i think we can poke in right here yeah there we go we didn't lose anything so you can see the construction here we've got a nine by nine area around the spawner and we've got one airspace above because these cave spiders are just one tall so we don't have to have that extra airspace like in a zombie grinder or skeleton grinder i drop them down below the exclusion zone into that water area right there and that funnels them on down to a little channel right there and then there's another channel that goes right underneath the spawner and comes out this way right under here and let's just plug that back up okay so that we don't get any uh, un undesired visitors so let's come down here you can see they end up coming down into this water channel here and they get pushed right into this cactus and we collect the drops with a hopper that's right there that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to try and get hold of that hopper so did i happen to lose any no just torches okay that's not too bad let's chuck a torch there torch there all right we should be good to go excellent all right so how does this work well what we do is we've got a switch up here and we'll play parkour to get it you can hear them drop right down okay and then that funnels them down here you can see they're meeting their demise right there and they get some string that then goes into a dropper that we've got right over here and you've seen me put these together we're using the observers here to make a really quick clock that dropper is facing up into uh, well, it's just a short channel, and it throws all of the string up into this water stream right there. Let's turn this thing off for the time being, though. We don't want any more than necessary. And this water stream goes over some packed ice, and you've seen me build these before, and I'm doing once I've once again, as I've done before, surrounding it with this nether brick block here. That's just to signify, in case anyone else happens to be digging around the area, it will let them know, hey... There's something here now then what we do you can see it drop out right there the string falls through goes right into the end portal and we've got to do some work to clean this up but once we go through here we'll take a little damage and i pick up all of the string when i come through because we're not loading this thing correctly and that's really going to be the next piece but if you if you see right there ah you can hear something right 
throw that right in the center okay whenever an item comes through the end portal it lands right on this center block and if we were to say dig out a couple of blocks here of obsidian every time a an entity comes through a non non item entity so like a a player or a mob anytime they come through it regenerates the obsidian some people have used that to create obsidian farms before but what we've got is a uh, you can see it right there i didn't mean for that to get picked up do we have any other yeah i got one one thing a stone brick okay so there's a hopper minecart right here it's right on top of a hopper that goes into a dropper facing down and again you've seen it before you saw it at the farm at the spider farm we're using observers to create a fast clock we're going to throw that back there and uh and then what we can do maybe we can see i think yeah Hopefully I can catch that. I caught that. All right, so that dropper is facing down into this channel, which is then throwing all the items down into, there's a water channel that Kondrick put together to send I, our interpearls back to spawn. We did that project quite some time ago. But um, yeah, so all of the items should get back to spawn. We're having a little bit of a problem though. Kondrick and I are working on debugging it. And... Yeah, I want all that string, not that. I want you to go here, 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 and here. We don't need that. So if we go back to spawn this direction, that's right. So if we go this way, uh, eventually we should be seeing string go into the castle at spawn. That's not happening, so I've got to do a little bit of debugging. But uh, I am not going to end up at spawn. I should end up back at the stronghold because I just set my spawn point please yes okay so the reason i've set it back here is because i've got some work to do this right here is not the most pretty we want to make this such that if people come through and load up the spider farm go afk that one it looks nice it leads them to where they need to go and all of this stuff is hidden so we'll probably be moving that nether portal up a little bit and then and then making making it a little easier to get to the end and also hide some of that uh, water stream thing there, but then lead them over to a nice safe AFK spot over at the spider farm that way. So I've got a little bit of work to do here. And then over in the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on some chunk loading. I'm not going to explain it right now. I will explain it in a little bit if we have time, but needless to say, we've got some special Minecraft mechanics to play with. So I'm going to go off camera, take care of that, and I'll bring you back once I've got something more to show you back in a bit all right we're back ladies and gentlemen let's go through here just to give you an idea of what a fellow hyperminer is going to see when they come through there we go excellent so we've still got the rough outline of the stronghold here so i've brought up the floor here you can see our portal is right there so brought it up a couple blocks and so we had to move the windows up move the ceiling up and we still have a decent ways to go because, well, our stronghold, or at least this room right here, generated rather low in the world. So, um, so yeah, not not too bad. I mean, we've we figured it out, but hopefully you like this. Didn't put tons of effort into it, but again, this is not somewhere we're, we're going to be a lot. So continue down this hallway, and this takes us into a safe room. Let's come in here go right there okay so what we've got is just a lever that turns on the farm you can hear them hit the water here soon maybe light on anything maybe not huh there we go okay well that threw me for a loop I guess it just there was a little bit of a cool down or something we're going to turn that off, too, because we don't want tons of them hanging around. We'll just wait for them to finish their their cactus journey. And uh, what, we got one more, maybe. So, yeah, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is go into the end, and I'm going to show you kind of what we need to deal with over there. All right, so we're sending a bunch of stuff into the end, but we're still picking some of it up. See, we picked up two bits of string right there. That means not all of it's getting picked up here. And that means we still got a little bit of work to do. And that means, well, 
it says we're going to have to do a little bit of chunk loading magic. Now, how do you do chunk loads? You're talking modded there, soap? Well, kind of. But there are ways to do chunk loading here in the game. One of them is uh, what I'm going to do is just bring up the chunk boundary and let's go to let's go to a chunk and we'll go right to a border border right there. And so I've got a block there. And what I want to do is point a hopper into that. We'll get rid of that block and then we'll throw an item into that hopper. So if this chunk gets loaded, what's going to happen is this hopper is then going to say, hey, I have an item. I need to push it. And the game's going to load this chunk, trying to find any tile entities for this hopper to push the item into. It's not going to find one. So, yeah, there we go. So we're going to have a this. In fact, this chunk will load this chunk. And that's, that's kind of what we're going to be playing with. So let's assume for the time being, uh, we'll, well, we'll get rid of that hopper right there and get rid of our chunk borders. Excellent. We're going to assume that this nether brick block is a chunk. And it's going to be the chunk in which our items fall. So for us, oh, this is hanging out still there. Okay. So this, this chunk by itself isn't going to do much. It'll run some redstone, but it's not going to do a lot of entity. Pro it's not going to do any entity processing. So that means when the items drop out of the dropper, they're not going to flow and we need them to flow. So the way to turn a loaded chunk into an what's called an entity processing chunk is to load uh, a radius of two chunks on either side like so. And if you want more details about how all this works, I'm going to link a video much better description in the card in the top right corner and in the description box below. If I happen to remember, if I don't remind me. Okay. So, what we're going to do is work on chunk loaders for all 25 of these chunks. And that's going to make our central chunk there where the platform is an entity processing chunk. But we're not quite done. We've got a few chunks in between our platform and the end portal where our string needs to come out. So that means we actually need to load a few more chunks as we go down like so. And so it's going to be a lot of loaded chunks like this, but our server should be able to handle it. It's not too many chunks to to load there. That's going to turn all of that line right there into entity processing chunks. And so our string should be fine to run on all the way down. If not, well, I don't know. We'll find out. So I'm going to be working on that off camera between now and the next time I see you. And uh, well, I'll let you know the result. But let me go grab some more materials and get to doing that. do now i'm just coming out of a little afk session we're going to break that bed and we'll move everything over just a little bit so that i can get rid of my spawn point because i don't want to come back here new no, i am done for the time being and we're going to go back to spawn and take a look at that afk session but not before we take a look at what has been done oh in the end Oh my, that noise in my ears. Okay, so you can't see too much right here, but if we take a little turn right here and we go down this ladder and we should pop out to a little platform right like so, you can see something very, very odd indeed. 
So if you're not used to this, well, I've, I've not tried this before, but what you see before you is a series of chunk loaders. So what we'll do is we'll F3G, okay? And you can see that we've got stuff on each chunk like so. Yep, and that is, yeah, that's loading up. Well, it ended up being a little bit wider than normal or wider than I talked about last time. And that's because I found this item stream and the redstone associated with it. It's kind of straddling the line between these two chunks right here. So we needed these two to be item processing chunks. So we've got a line of six chunks all the way down over to the final portal, which is over that way. So... So yeah, there we go. I've got all the chunk loaders in and sure enough, they are working just fine. We're going to go back to spawn and take a look at the results of this most recent AFK session. We'll probably go back there every now and then just to keep the thing loaded, but it's been pretty good. So let's head up here and we'll get rid of our chunk borders. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. And we'll go up go through our end portal right like so and there we go sure enough home bed was missing or obstructed that's to be expected let's go down our tunnel here and take a look so what I had done is I did load my camera account over here so that the spawn chunks would stay loaded there is a little bit of a thing where if somebody's not in well I guess if you're in the overworld it's going to stay loaded so maybe it's not the case. If I was in the end, then the spawn chunks could get unloaded. Who knows? Anyway, so I just kept my, my camera account loaded in over there, which kept the mob farm loaded as well. Kept all that stuff loaded. Eh, not too much. I guess people are coming by and grabbing that stuff anyway. So let's come over here and take a look at the string. Excellent. We've got a pretty good supply. So basket should be excited. And that means that we are done for this particular episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you, I mean, that was, it was just one project. You know, we've been doing multiple projects lately, but one project and um, yeah, we, we did a, a lot of stuff. We built a farm and we hooked up a rather convoluted method of item transport, including chunk loading in the end. I think, I think we're, we're doing pretty good. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.